In this short video, I'm going to go over the installation steps required for the Vagabond Motorsport frame sliders for the Yamaha MT-07 and FC-07. Now to quickly review the contents of the Vagabond Motorsport frame slider kit for the MT-07 and FC-07 motorcycles, the primary component is going to be two CNC machined black Delrin slugs. Now these are going to key into those um, frame lugs or frame tubes and are going to have an o-ring seal so that water doesn't go into there and get trapped in your frame tube and it's going to have two uh, threaded holes on it and you're only going to use one uh, I would give you two in case you strip one out uh, and need to essentially have a second try but these are really just going to act as a key to keep over the life of your motorcycle the frame slider locked into the frame tube and not like vibrate out or anything like that but the primary structural element of the frame slider is the machine plastic itself and so in a compressive load where the motorcycle kind of falls over it's going to be very strong in a shearing load where you have a high speed crash and you hit something with the frame slider like um, a pothole or something like that that's going to be able to generate a lot of leverage which are the kind of loads that frame sliders can sometimes like bend your motor mounts this plastic is going to shear this is going to it's going to be it's going to be a pretty high load it's going to be several hundred pounds that it's going to take to shear but it will shear off at that point so the the risk with the vagabond motorsports frame sliders to actually like damage your frame is very very low and that's something we get a lot of feedback from our customers who say um, okay i crashed my bike frame slider sheared off you can just pull this the remnants out and buy a separate one for Vagabond and you're good as new. But in slow speed cases like tip overs, the Vagabond Motorsports kit is going to offer you kind of complete protection. One of the nice things about the Vagabond Motorsports kit in addition is that we provide you every last tool you need to install this. So you get a simple set of instructions that reviews essentially the order of operations in terms of which bolts uh, and washers you use but it's an incredibly simple kit to install. We give you the one Allen wrench you need in case you don't have it, and you're really just gonna shove these frame sliders into your frame tubes and then secure them with one keying bolt. Other than that, it's gonna be the really precision fit on that frame tube that's gonna perform all the load transfer um, into your frame during a tip over or a crash. Quick note on the hardware order, it's gonna be reviewed on the instruction sheet you get, but you're gonna stack your uh, stainless steel lock washer onto their fastener and then the um, plastic Belleville washer, the kind of conical shaped white plastic washer and that's just going to help you kind of seat up against the frame tube without scratching it. Now the install for these frame sliders really doesn't come any easier and that's one of our biggest advantages on the market but you really you're going to have your hardware stack so you're going to have your bolt, your lock washer and your plastic washer and that's going to go up that little small drainage hole on that frame tube and screw into uh, the plastic frame slider. So really all you have to do, and you, can, you should be able to do this kind of by eye, but once it's in, you can kind of twist it a bit. It's going to be tight, but um, since you have two, you can kind of use like a line between the top and the bottom to kind of estimate what direction it needs to go. Once you get to that O-ring, it's going to get really hard, and you're just going to have to push it all the way in. Now you shouldn't have to beat on it, some cases that's going to be a little tighter than other uh, kind of varies a bit by motorcycle to motorcycle if it is really tight you can help it in with like a rubber mallet but don't hit it with like a real hammer uh, or anything like that because you will mar the plastic uh, once you've got it in um, check underneath that the hole the threaded hole is visible in that uh, weep hole in the drainage hole so if we go to the underside during that step you should see uh, the hole appear through, uh, or the threaded hole appear in the um, clearance hole in the frame. Uh, now, once you get to that point, uh, you should be able to start it by hand. So you should be able to, once everything's aligned and in far enough, you should be able to start it by hand. Um, once you bottom out uh, the first of the washers, you'll get a little bit more resistance. Take the supplied wrench and flatten the washers. Now you'll feel it get tight but since this isn't a structural component you can strip that plastic thread out. I mean it's pretty strong for a thread um, but all you have to do is bottom out your lock washer and then that frame slider is going to be secure and won't ever vibrate out. Now the process on the 
shifter side or the left side of the motorcycle is going to be exactly the same. You can see the fastener stack um, holding that, that, that slider in. Now with both sides done, you can tell it's a very fast process. From the back, you see it'll stick out just enough, not going to be super kind of noticeable. It's actually going to blend into the frame really well. Uh, but it will stick out enough to prevent your cases and your frame and your tank from getting uh, rashed up in a tip over uh, or a low side. Um, with that, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Uh, we can be reached direct on our website, www.bagabondmotorsports.com. Our products are also on eBay and Amazon. Thank you very much.